SR-71 nicknamed Blackbird and Habu, based off the designs of the A-12 and YF-812, was first seen soaring in the skies in 1964. 32 of these reconnaissance aircraft were built to help the United States keep an eye on its enemies to help maintain U.S. air superiority until 1998, yet till this day holds the fastest manned air-breathing jet category title. The SR-71 today remains this mysterious and enticing aircraft. It's, it's menacing, uh, it looks so sleek, uh, but really this is completely a form dictated by the function of the aircraft. We had a need to know what was going on in other countries, and the way that we were going to do that was having a photographic aircraft that could fly very high and very fast, and much faster than the U-2 which preceded it. The SR-71 was that answer for the U.S. Air Force and for the United States. The SR-71 was a tremendous leap forward in technology in many different ways. Fighters at the time could go about Mach 2, this could go Mach 3. It could fly incredibly high. Now there were aircraft that could reach the height of the SR-71, but only in a zoom climb and only temporarily, whereas the SR-71 could fly at level attitude at 80,000 feet or higher. There was no other aircraft at the time that could do that. It was a magnificent platform. It was untouchable, and yet it had not only photographic cameras, it also had systems that performed electronic intelligence as well, and it had a side-looking airborne radar, which was another sensor which was very effective. Speed in the 1960s was what stealth is today. Speed was survivability. In fact, the best way for an SR-71 to deal with a surface air missile shot at it was just simply to speed up. There are some great ways to realize and understand just how fast the SR-71 was. An SR-71 flew from Los Angeles to DC in just a little over an hour. Now imagine, in that amount of time, one would drive to the airport and maybe get your bags checked in and this airplane flew from coast to coast in a little over an hour. Originally when the SR-71 was developed, there was the possibility that it could be used over China or even over the Soviet Union. It wasn't uh, used in that way largely due to um, diplomatic efforts, but it was used in the dangerous skies over North Vietnam during the uh, Southeast Asia War, and it was also used over North Korea during the Pueblo Crisis in 1968. Uh, and it was used in other places around the world. The Air Force operated the SR-71, an aircraft that had a capability that no other country in the world had. And the SR-71 could go get photographs and intelligence information that was desperately needed, but that no other aircraft and no other Air Force could get.